In this video, I'm going to be doing a crafting challenge for Tabletop, where I try to create something using only items that I found at the Goodwill by the Pound. I'm also going to cheat and use some spray paint as well. Now, these toy robots look amazing as is. If I was using a sci-fi setting, maybe they would be great. However, I've also been seeing a lot of Zelda recently, so I want them to be all nice and old and crusty ancient guardian machines. As you can see, I'm using kind of a sort of half-assed Zenithal type thing where I do a base coat in black and then a few very quick spritzes of metal to get that incredibly quick metal looking texture on the robot already even before I pick up a brush. The material on these uh, robots was hard plastic. Uh, most hard plastic toys nowadays will take spray paint very well. On to the painting, which you can see I'm using Craft Smart brushes. I love these things. The natural hair Craft Smart brushes are camel hair. I just like using natural hair brushes. It gives a very nice dry brush effect. I know some people like the synthetic ones, but for bigger projects like this, I just like the cheap natural hair brushes. Works out great. I am using a wide selection of random paints that I found at the Goodwill by the Pound, including this Liquex orange paint that I'm dry brushing on to make the metal look rusty. This is a one-step process. Well, actually, it's a two-step. First, I'm dry brushing, and then next, I'll be stippling, where I'm kind of poking and putting large amounts of paint uh, that uh, my dry brush brush still has on it and stippling and poking and prodding until I get the excellent looking rusted texture that I'm looking for. This was a remarkably simple and excellent thing. If you screw up like I did like there, you can just use your thumb or a piece of paper towel and wipe away the excess. But yeah, just poking and prodding uh, with a natural hair brush like this. Hey, it's one of the reasons why I like that. Speaking of brushes, here's a crappy little brush that I found, but I cut it from the base to make it a much thinner brush to get some new life into it so I could paint in some scratch marks. Most of these didn't work out really well. This is the first time I've actually tried doing this. But uh, yeah, it, it worked well enough for this project and I think uh, I'll definitely look up some tutorials to try to find some better ways to do this in the future. Uh, but as you can see, the final project does not look that bad at all. These are very ancient looking uh, ancient technology looking machines all rusted up perfect for a D&D &D table or you know any number of other tabletop role-playing games but yeah I think they look great and more importantly the idea was to do this craft in a very quick amount of time so if you go out there and find some cheap old toys you can use this exact same method and get some dang old robots for your table. Thank you very much for watching the video. Uh, if you want me to take a look at anything else more specifically in terms of crafting projects, please let me know in the comments below. Hey, baby, let me know! And be on the lookout for some uh, restoration projects in the future for some classic miniatures. Bye bye